Assalamualaikum. My name is Alina Javid Khan. I've done my schooling and my all levels from Bayview High School, and I've completed my A levels from Syria College. My subjects were Biology, Chemistry, and Physics. Today we'll be talking about smoking, and this is from your O level Biology textbook. You will do this in more detail in A levels as well, and probably much more detail in your university. So. Um, Firstly, we need to understand that smoking is extremely detrimental for our health. And if you're smoking, please, please stop this. And if you can't find a reason to stop, I will give you a lot of reasons in the following slides. Also, um, we need to make our immunity much stronger. And for that, smoking is definitely not the way. So firstly, let's talk about why do people actually smoke? So firstly, uh, they think it's a symbol of adulthood. Now, why do they think that? It's because when you're growing up, you see your elders, your peers, your class fellows, or even your parents or your relatives smoking, and you automatically associate smoking with something that grown-ups do. So you think you'll be more mature once you start smoking. And then Due to that, you're curious to try it, so you do it out of curiosity. Then, um, if you're sitting in a group of friends, you see all of them smoking, and if you're the only one who's not smoking, you automatically feel this peer group pressure, and you get this urge to try it. Then, once you start smoking, in the short term, it may relieve tension, depression, or even boredom, but in the long term, it has a lot of disadvantages for your health. And eventually, with time, once you are a habitual smoker, you get addicted to it because of the addictive drug present in tobacco smoke. So let's talk about the components of smoking. So what does tobacco smoke contain? Firstly, it contains nicotine, which is a drug present in tobacco smoke. It contains tar, a brown sticky substance, carbon monoxide, a poisonous gas, carcinogens, which are basically cancer-causing chemicals, and irritants are chemicals that irritate. So before I talk about each of these components in detail, Let's see a summary of these. So nicotine is basically addictive. Then carbon monoxide reduces the oxygen carrying capacity of the blood. Tar causes lung cancer and many other kinds of cancers. And the particulates, basically uh, the irritants, damage lung surfaces. So nicotine. So nicotine is the addictive drug present in tobacco smoke. At first, it stimulates the brain, making the smoker feel alert, and it relaxes your muscles, but later, it dulls the brain and its senses. Then, it also causes the release of adrenaline. However, later, it causes increase in your blood pressure. It also makes your blood clot easily, therefore, increasing the risk of blood clots blocking the vessels. If a clot occurs in your coronary artery, then a heart attack may occur. If it occurs in the capillaries of your brain, a stroke may occur. Then tar. Tar basically consists of cancer-causing chemicals called carcinogens. And as explained by the name, these chemicals cause cancer. Uh, tar induces our cells to divide at an abnormal rate. and such uncontrolled multiplications of cells results in outgrowths or lumps of tissue. So these block off the air sacs, reducing the efficiency of our gaseous exchange. Then let's talk about carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide, it basically reduces the efficiency of our red blood cells to transport oxygen. It increases the rate at which 
fatty substances are deposited upon the inner walls of our arteries. Therefore, their lumen to become narrower. And if the lumen of arteries are narrower than the arteries that have a lot of high blood pressure in them, they can't withstand it and may burst. Then it also damages the lining of blood vessels, thus increasing the tendency of the blood to clot and so block blood vessels like the effect of nicotine. So uh, it may also cause a heart attack. Then finally, we've talked about carcinogens. Let's talk about irritants. I'll give you two examples of irritants, um, hydrogen cyanide and acrony. So they basically paralyze the cilia in the air passages and weaken the walls of the alveoli. Then they, they also irritate the cell lining in the air passages. Uh, causing them to produce more mucus. This in turn causes the smoker's cough. So the coughing bursts the weakened walls of the alveoli causing, in, causing a decrease in the wall area. And the overall result of this is that the gas exchange surface in the lungs becomes greatly reduced which obviously decreases the efficiency of the gases exchange in the body. Okay, so let's quickly go over the effects of smoking in general all over our body. So um, there's tobacco odor in your head. As I told you, it tells your um, senses. So you always feel the odor of tobacco then there's gum disease and you've probably seen that smokers have yellow teeth. There might be vision problems, cataracts, risk of other cancers, then mm, heart disease, angina or stroke. We've talked about heart disease. Angina is basically chest pain and stroke, we've talked about it. Then persistent cough and uh, COPD, we've talked about this in detail. Um, in the next few slides, then the risk of lung cancer, risk of type 2 diabetes, lack of appetite, inability to taste food. Obviously, if it's dulling your senses, then you might not be able to taste food. Then infertility, pregnancy complications. We'll talk about pregnancy complications in the next few slides. Erectile dysfunction in men. A weakened immune system exactly what i was talking about in the beginning of our lecture blood clots we've discussed that and prematurely aging skin so smoking related diseases will be doing lung cancer and copd so lung cancer basically studies have shown that the more you smoke the greater you're at a risk of getting lung cancer or maybe other cancers as well. And we've discussed why, because uh, smoking uh, the tobacco cigarette has carcinogens, chemicals that cause cancer, that cause normal cells to divide at an abnormal rate. So here's a picture of a healthy lung versus a smoker's lung. You can see a healthy lung is pink, and it seems so healthy. And the other lung, the smoker's lung, is really dark. And there are only a few parts of it, the lower parts, that are pink. Then we'll talk about COPD, which stands for Chronic Obstructive Pulmonary Disease. So, it consists of two things, chronic bronchitis and emphysema. First, we'll talk about chronic bronchitis. What's that? And then we'll talk about emphysema. They're interconnected. So the epithelium or membrane lining in the inner surface of the bronchi or main air passages become inflamed and narrowed and excess mucus is secreted. 
just reduces air flow in the passages, causing difficulty in breathing, and the person coughs to clear his passages. So obviously, that when your air passages become narrow due to excessive mucus being secreted, there will be less airflow in these passages and you will feel out of breath and you will eventually cough to clear your passages. Emphysema is associated with chronic bronchitis. So as a result of intense coughing, your partition walls of alveoli break down, enlarging air spaces and hence reducing the surface area of your lung. This reduces absorption of oxygen. The lungs become overinflated with air and lose the elasticity. Why do they become inflated with air? Is because your alveoli sacs are not filtering the air that your lung receives and hence they lose their elasticity. And this also causes breathlessness. So in both cases, you are not able to breathe properly. The final thing we'll do in this chapter is smoking during pregnancy, how harmful it can be. So firstly, it can cause premature birth or it can even cause miscarriage or the risk of the child being born dead. Then for the baby, it the baby might have low birth weight. It can have problems of ear, nose, and throat. And why? Because the brain development of the fetus is affected. The child may have learning difficulties later or maybe respiratory problems, obesity, or diabetes. So when you're smoking while you're pregnant, you're not only putting your life at risk, but also the baby's life at risk. So you're risking two lives, not just one. And um, finally, this last picture, it shows how stubborn some people can be. Even when they're dying, they can see the effects of smoking on their body visibly. They still don't stop smoking. So I know once you start something and you do it a lot, it's really hard to stop because you're addicted to it. But there are many rehabs, rehabilitation centers basically, where you can work on leaving smoking or any other addictive drug because all of them are really harmful in the long term and smoking in specific can damage your lungs and this is the time where you want to build up boost up your immunity and not get sick not become a victim of the coronavirus so take care everyone get awareness regarding smoking and please don't smoke as it kills Thank you. This is it for the lecture.